Hi there, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, today I just wanted to share in this super quick video um, my thank you, my customer thank you cards from October, which I have still have a few of them um, that I haven't gotten out yet. I'm waiting for the um, a little something something, a little incentive for them that I had ordered um, as the ordering special. But uh, as I was doing the bulk of them, I realized that I could save time and get um, twice as many done as as I normally would just get one done. So what I did was I used the um, the new, the quite curvy Christmas and quite curvy bundle. So for this one, I just used the bundle, which is the uh, stamp set and the dies. And I've done a video, I've done a few Facebook Lives on this, so we don't have to go through the, the um, the learning curve of using these dies uh, because I'm sure everybody knows um, the deal with that now. But I just wanted to share with you how I got two cards out of one pass through of the um, cut and emboss machine. So let me just do that quick for you so you can see how simple and how quick that was to get that done. So I just have, I have my card bases here. We can do some layering after we do just one die cut. So I'm just using this um, this curly cue here that has the um, cutting edge is on the top. So my plates, originally I had thought, okay, I'm going to um, run it through and I was planning to just use the, the, um, the one with the dots showing, so I would make sure that my cutting edge is up on top so that I got that, um, I got those dots. And then I thought, well, as I'm talking, I'm gonna run this through for you. And then I thought, well, heck, why waste that other top piece? So I just, I'm sending it through, I'm just putting it right, sort of right in the middle. Now it doesn't really matter. I do have the um, cutting edge on top but it doesn't matter. I can have it and I can make it whatever angle I want. I'm gonna send it through the new machine here and we will have the die cut pieces for two cards just with one swipe. I didn't use my dryer sheet this time but it's, it still seemed to be fine, came out perfectly. All right, let's get rid of that. And now I have two pieces that I can get two cards with. So let me show you how I did that. I'm just going to, I cut my bases, um, the standard eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter so I can do two at once here. And that was the great part of when I was doing my, my thank yous, um, is that it was just, I just did all my bases, I did all my die cutting and my layering, and it was so easy. I'm using Misty Moonlight, I don't need that here. And uh, we'll do our layering first, and then I'll show you how I got my, um, you know, where we are going to put the stamp the image, the sentiment, and um, how we can make sure that it's just going into the right, in the right direction or in the right curve. Okay, so I'll do this one and I'll do this. And that's two done. This DSP is from the uh, Snowflake Splendor DSP pack which I have gotten a lot of use out of. Okay, so now we're going to use both of these. One will go on here, one will go on here. And so I'm gonna pull out my, um, I'm not using the Christmas one because like I said, this is for my, uh, my customer thank yous. So I'm going to use the one that says, you're one in a million. And I'll grab a clear block, but I'm not going to mount it on the block yet because all of these angles of the slopes are different, so I wanna make sure that I'm going to have it in um, the direction that I want it in. So I'm gonna put this here, and sometimes 
with the other one. It has more of a curl. I might need to um, just give that a little zhuzh to me see to make sure it goes in the direction that I want it. So, like I said, I used the um, Misty Moonlight for the cardstock base. Well, actually, I use Whisper White for the, the. I always, most of the time, I use thick Whisper White um, for my bases, and then the the layer. My first layer is usually the color, and this one I used the um, uh, Misty Moonlight. Okay, so that looks perfect right there. And I love this um, sentiment because you can use it for anything. Um, congratulations, retirement, whatever. Um, okay, so you know what? I forgot my little pad to clean this off and I do want to manipulate it a little bit. So bear with me here. Okay, so I didn't want to, I wanted to make sure that was clean before I start um, manipulating it here because I want it to go in just a little bit of a direction that it's not really meant to go in, but it will work. Okay, so this one does take just a little bit more because you're kind of undoing the natural curve in there, but I wanted to um, make this work with this particular curve. And um, you could have you could use another uh, sentiment for sure, and they they have the curve going both ways. So um, so anyway, we got we got that one on, and the sentiment really doesn't matter. It's just the I just wanted to share with you the um, easiness of getting two uh, two cards out of one just one little pass through. Okay, so you see you have this one here, you have this one that came from here, and now we have a second card for that. So let's give this just a sec to dry, because I did press a little hard on that one, and we can put this on here. Then I just added a little bit of the um, Misty Moonlight uh, In Color Ribbon just to give it a little bow, but, and it's, you could easily make this a holiday card. And that's um, really was the whole idea of uh, why I wanted to share this with you, because this would be, it would cut your holiday card making in half if you just use these curves and you use both sides of it. All right, let me just get this one more on here and then we'll be good to go. Okay. And like I said, this set, this set has so many um, sentiments that you can use for it. And the Christmas set, which will, is available until January, um, that has the trees and stars and um, so that would be a perfect one to make your 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 Christmas card list completely finalized with that so um, all right so I just put two where did I do I had two bows and here they are I just made those out of the um, misty moonlight and then I think I threw on some snowflakes which and you can make this go any which way you want. But again, it's just a thank you uh, to my customers for their for them to use this card any way they want. Because I don't sign it. I just put a little card in here that does say, um, you know, this card is for you to keep or to send. And um, I hope that they know how much I appreciate them. So anyway, that was my quick tip on just getting your holiday cards done in half the time. Make these dies do double duty for you and um, you can come up with you know beautiful designs in half the time. All right, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I will see you next time. If you, watch, if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, please subscribe to my channel and um, I will have the description um, of the of the cards, the supply list, and um, my my post where you can see these on, um, if you want to. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye bye.